Order number 95 as read together with standing order number 83. But Mr. Speaker, before I, I raise that point of order, I thought my very good friend, the Honorable Musa Sirma, who is the chair of um, CDF, had very important information to communicate to this house, particularly when the Honorable Stephen Mule was welcoming his students. We thought that the students would go back home knowing that uh, CDF has been released. Can you raise your point of order in yeah, relation yeah. to order number eight? No, no, I, I was just trying to eliminate. And Honorable Sirima, you don't have to stand up simply because your name was mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. You want no, to No, Chepkonga. Yes, uh, go ahead. Raise your point thank, of order. Thank, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Sirima, take your seat. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. He needs to take a cue to raise a point of order himself. Mr. Speaker, this matter has been ably conversed, conversed in this House. And Mr. Speaker, without anticipating debate in the next standing order, in the next uh, uh, debate, Mr. Speaker, which is extremely very important, it has exercised the minds of Kenyans. What is your point of order? Mr. Speaker, my point of order, would I be in order in accordance with standing order number 8, number 95, as read together with 83, that the speaker be called upon to reply, not the mover be called upon to reply, because this matter has already been spent, Mr. Speaker. In fact, when issues were discussed the last time, what I wanted to discuss, Mr. Speaker, was also being discussed by another member. So I thought I became redundant. So I thought it is important that the mover be called upon to reply so that we can move to the most important debate, which is disturbing Kenyans, and we need to sort out this before Papa is appointed as the chairman of AU. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Before I exercise that discretion, I'll allow Honorable Mbandi, who is a ranking member of this House,